so great I can take care of myself to do this but can I ask for a favor <coughs> yeah I am sick I don't know I have a headache a sore throat I'm burning up and I've been coughing a lot overall I just feel like a Big blob of yuck. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Yeah, I will say that. Alright, see you soon. Love you too. Oh, no pie. Just use the door. I know you can fly through the window, but I'm not taking away the screen. You know why? I don't like it when bugs get in the house. <coughs> <coughs> Now is not the time for this. Thank you. <sighs> I really don't understand it sometimes. I guess... I guess it's just a cultural divide. Humans and vampires quite literally live in different worlds. Nope. I can't talk that loud right now. Hi, Vampai. Thank you so much for coming over. Again, I am sorry you had to leave your bodies for this. Well, you know me. A stupid living being with stupid living being problems. Like sickness. Uh. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> Could you get me some water, please? And see what medicines I have while you're at it. Hopefully, something will help. Thank you, Mumpai. I love you. This is just the worst. I hate feeling this crappy and I hate pulling you away from your friends. It makes me feel like a bad girlfriend. Thank you so much, Mempai. Mm. 
Much better. Hopefully those meds will kick in sooner than later. No, I'm not hungry. Maybe you could make me soup in an hour or so, but right now, I just want to lay down. I really appreciate that you come out of your way for me like this. Of course you do. I mean, before we met, you didn't even know who the phone was. And now you have your own number and you can call me by yourself. Times have changed a lot since you were human. And I can only imagine how hard it is to adapt. <coughs> <coughs> I mean, even stuff like the pills you just gave me are way ahead of your time. Didn't they still do bloodletting back then to treat colds and stuff? Mm. Now that I think about it, why couldn't humans of vampires get along back then? I mean, if humans believed that getting rid of old blood would cure illness and vampires need to drink blood, it seems like a win-win for everybody. <laughs> the evil leeches feed off of sick people. It's so unfair that those slimy water slacks could drink human blood, but vampires can't. I know, I know, religious stigma and all that. <coughs> Still, you guys really got the raw end of the deal. You really want to kiss me right now? I know I can't make you sick, but still, I'm all nasty and gross. Are you sure you want your lips all over this? Well, if you are sure. Mm. <sighs> Thank you, Mumbai. You really are too kind to me. So, I was hanging out with your friends. What did you all do tonight? Oh, that sounds fun. At least, I imagine so. It's not like I could try any of that supernatural stuff. I'm a bit too high for that right now. <coughs> Although, this sickness sure makes me feel like death. Sorry, vampire. I didn't mean to offend you. I'm just still getting used to some things, you know? Thank you for being patient with me. Speaking of getting used to things, how are your buddies handling the fact that you have a human girlfriend? That is good to hear. I know our kinds aren't exactly on the best of terms with each other. So I was expecting a much more sour reaction. <sighs> might be more than just a headache. Feels like a migraine. Ow. 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 Thank you for rubbing my forehead. That helps a lot. And your skin feels so nice and cool. Hey, um, 
Can I ask for a favor? Well, since my old buddy is burning up and your skin is so cool, can you maybe take off your shirt so I can lay on your chest? I, I'm sorry. I know we really haven't. I know we haven't really had that kind of intimacy before, and I don't want to make you uncomfortable. Oh, you're sure? Thank you, Mumpai. I love you so much. Yeah, just get in bed with me. Uh, this is really... How do you feel? That's good. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry about that. I can't believe you're actually cuddling me while I'm this icky. Are you sure you're okay with this? Whatever you say, Mentai. <laughs> you know I can't lie. I like what I'm seeing. <laughs> Even though you can't blush, your expression tells me everything I need to know. Come give me another kiss. <laughs> you mean so much to me. I don't know what I would do without you. When I get better, I am paying you back for this. No, I don't want to hear it. You are pampering me while I'm all disgusting. So, I want to pamper you sometime. Well, I don't know. I'm just spitballing here. Maybe we can go to a movie. I know you've got a really into those. And then afterwards, we can have a nice midnight stroll to the park. Maybe we'll even stop for a little picnic. That way you can have a snack and I can enjoy looking at my own snack. <laughs> <coughs> hey, I can do whatever you want. I'm just too tired to think of anything better. Just let me know what you want to do and we will do it. I love you too, Moon Pie. Mm. You are right. I need to rest my voice. This stupid sore throat won't get any better with a voice. <coughs> Thanks again, bye. I love you so much. More than anything in the world. <laughs>